My name is Audrey Ladd and I'm the Education Programs Manager at the Texas Ranger Hall of Fame and Museum. Welcome to Storytime with Audrey and my dog Bolin. Today we are going to be reading Larry Gets Lost in Texas, illustrated by John Skews and written by Michael Mullen and John Skews. I do want to once again thank the uh, Waco McLennan County Public Library because that is where I got this book and we wouldn't be able to do story time today without them. So let's get started. Larry Gets Lost in Texas. This is Larry. This is Pete. They like riding together in the back seat. The family loved going to adventurous places. This new one was all about wide open spaces. Texas comes from the Native American word for friendship, which is the state motto. The Rio Grande forms the border between the United States and Mexico. It is the fourth longest river in the United States. El Paso. At the first stop, there was a hill, and on top was a star. Then the biggest boots Larry had seen by far. The Rocket Buster Boots. Home of the biggest pair of real leather cowboy boots in the world. Size 328D. West Texas. They drove a long while through a curious place. At first it looked empty, but that wasn't the case. The Chuan Desert. The largest desert in North America, it extends from Mexico to New Mexico, Arizona, and Texas. Can you see the animals that live in the desert? While Pete ate with his parents at a picnic spot they'd found, Larry stayed in the trailer with the windows rolled down. Larry's hunger was something he could never hide, and a tangy smell swirled through the air just outside. It was some kind of meat on a sauce-covered bun. He could get it and eat it before Pete was done. Larry made his decision and pounced on his treat, but there was so much food, it took a long time to eat. His tummy full, he came out gasping for air and saw that his best friend Pete wasn't there. Back on the ground was a strange little guy who walked right up to Larry, as if to say, hi. His outside looked hard like a rock or a shell, but he could offer no help from what Larry could tell. The nine-banded armadillo, native only to the southern U.S., primarily Texas, this small animal has a leathery armored shell. Armadillo is Spanish for little armored one. Larry searched the whole lot, not once, but twice till he saw a trailer with a creature who seemed very nice. Without Pete, Larry had no clue what to do. Then his friend nodded as if to say, there's room for you too. Riding in comfort, Larry thought, what a lucky day. But Pete and his parents had gone the opposite way. in Amarillo. Larry saw cars like trees sticking out of the ground while at a, in, in Big Ben. While at a huge park, Pete's pup wasn't around. Cadillac Ranch. The outdoor sculpture was created in 1974 by burying 10 real Cadillacs in the desert in Amarillo. Big Ben National Park. Named for a Big Ben in the Rio Grande, this 800,000 acre park includes mountain, river, and desert environments. Mm -hmm. 
Larry stopped in a place where the whole town goes, and he saw his new friend all dressed up in fine clothes. Almost everyone there wore the same kind of hat, but not one of them knew where Pete was at. Rodeos. Rodeos are popular year-round in Texas. Sporting events are based on the skills required by a working cowboys, including roping, steer wrestling, bronco riding, and barrel racing. On his search, Larry saw some pretty strange birds. It was hard to find proper descriptive words. Some big ones were eating at a steady pace, while scary ones swooped around another place. Pumpjacks. Oil has been a huge part of the state's economy since it was discovered in 1901 near Beaumont. Pumpjacks, or oil derricks, pump up and down all day and night and are a common sight in Texas. Wind farms. Texas produces more wind power than any state in the United States. Now in Austin, Congress Avenue Bridge. In the summer, about a million bats live under the bridge. People gather at sunset to watch the bats wake up and fly out to hunt for their evening meal of insects. Got oil derricks and a train with some wind farms. And then the bridge. In Corpus Christi, Pete, Mom, and Dad arrived at a shore with a ship museum and lots to explore. Two sculptures pointed west. Was that a clue that might lead the family to you-know-who? So at Orion's Belt, the 55-foot-long stainless steel weather vanes turn with the wind. And USS Lexington, an aircraft carrier launched into service in 1943. It served in the Pacific Ocean during World War II and is now a floating museum. San Antonio. Lots of people were at an old stone building, but Larry didn't see Pete. He was still all alone. While watching people shop and eat, Larry heard a voice that sounded like Pete's. He looked around here and there, but didn't see him anywhere. The Alamo. The Alamo was originally a mission, but is most famous as the site of a battle in 1836 during the Texas Revolution. The Texian soldier's battle cry was, Remember the Alamo. Riverwalk. The San Antonio River passes through the middle of the city. The walk is a popular pay place to eat and shop. So here's the Alamo. And then the river hawk. Houston, the Johnson Space Center. Pete and his folks visited an amazing place with a big rocket for flying to outer space. Pete learned all about the training that astronauts do. He only wished Larry could have learned this stuff too. Rocket Park. The Saturn V rocket is the largest rocket ever built and was the type used to fly people to the moon. Houston. A later a lit, and later nearby in a bustling town. Pete didn't see Larry while he was walking around. Houston Tunnel System. There are more than six miles of tunnel under the city. On hot days, more people are underground in the air-conditioned tunnels than on the sidewalks. In Fort Worth. In a quieter place, Larry thought all hope might be lost, till he was stopped by a man whose path he had crossed. The man was dressed in cowboy gear. He took Larry's collar and said, let's looky here. Fort Worth Stockyards. The stockyards are a former livestock market where cowboys used to deliver cattle after cattle drives. The Texas Longhorn, a breed of cattle known for its enormous horns. The horns can sometimes reach seven feet tip to tip. So here we've got Houston. And then the Longhorn. And Larry. The cowboy drove Larry to yet another city. 
the places they passed were exciting and pretty. A flying red horse was quite a neat trick, and one building looked like a lollipop stick. So they're in Dallas. Larry came to a huge fair that was jam-packed and loud. How would he ever find Pete in this crowd? There was music and all kinds of food end to end, but he had to stay focused and look for his friend. When a giant said, Howdy, folks, and pointed the way. The State Fair of Texas. Held at Fair Park in Dallas since 1886, this is the largest state fair in the U.S. Big Tex, that's him. Since 1952, the 52-foot tall character has been welcoming people to the state fair by talking and waving his hand. There's Big Tex. Larry ran up to Pete, and they both yelled, Hooray! To the helpful man, they said their goodbyes and boarded the wheel of an enormous size. Texas Star. The Texas Star is the largest Ferris wheel in North America. It is 212 feet tall and can carry 246, or 64, 264 people. There's Larry and Pete, and there is the Texas Star. Pete and Larry didn't have long to enjoy the ride. They fell asleep soon after getting inside. The end. Well, that was Larry Gets Lost in Texas. Thank you so much for joining us uh, for our story time with Audrey. Uh, from the Texas Ranger Hall of Fame and Museum. We really appreciate you uh, watching this video, and we hope you have a great day and that you can join us next time. Bye-bye now!